is Neely and Courtney and you're watching Channel 2 Entertainment News tonight and on tonight's show we will be reviewing movies and new movie releases we will also be talking about upcoming show premieres and later we will be talking about newly released video games so to start us off let's go to Katie and Jenny with movie reviews thank you Neely and Courtney so we'll be starting off with a movie that came out a few months ago Jenny Bob Marley is the most famous reggae singer in history I'm going to review his movie, Marley, which is a music documentary about his life and music. IMDB gave it a 7.9 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 4.5 out of 5. This movie told about his life growing up in Jamaica and how much he enjoyed his life. What I liked about this movie is I actually felt like I knew this person and I understand his life better. I learned a lot more about him and it was an interesting movie that kept me entertained. I would definitely recommend this movie. Thank you, Jenny. I will be reviewing a movie that came out on the 14th, The Hobbit. A little backstory on The Hobbit. The Hobbit is a prequel to the astounding series trilogy, actually, Lord of the Rings, writ written originally by J.R.R. Tolkien. He was an astounding British author and later wrote The Hobbit, which takes place in a time before Lord of the Rings with character Bilbo Baggins who is a hobbit and seeks wants to seek a life of adventure and mystery along the way meeting dwarves elves and humans befriending them all and eventually saving human village and returning the elves and dwarves to their rightful homes I highly suggest this movie and give it five out of five stars and now with Neely with some news about upcoming shows Coming up on Christmas, we have the highly anticipated mid-season premiere of Doctor Who. This year's Christmas special will introduce our fifth new companion so far, Ms. Jenna Louise Coleman, whom of which may look very familiar to my fellow Whovians. Coleman appeared on the recent Asylum of the Daleks episode as Osman, a young woman trapped in seclusion by the Daleks. She has made it clear in recent interviews that she is indeed not returning as Osman, but a person that looks and talks like her. Now, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that, um, like, with adjusting from Tenet to Smith, it's going to be difficult adjusting to this new companion, Clara, when most of us are still recovering from the split of Amy and Rory. But I'm sure we're all looking forward to getting to know this new companion and seeing what side of the doctor she brings out. The American airtime for this episode is at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Western Time on BBC America. Farewell, Whovians. Why, thank you for that interesting little tidbit. And now we are giving you some interesting video game news from Katie. Thank you, Courtney. So lots of video games have been coming out lately, some of which are Halo 4 and Assassin's Creed 3. Each in their own right had been equally esteemed and awaited for. But which one is really better? Hello, I'm Katie, and this is Wayne Wheeler, and I'm going to be asking him about some video games. So, which one do you think is better, Assassin's Creed 3 or Halo 4? I'm sorry, but no matter what anyone says, Assassin's Creed, hands down. But why do you say this? Well, just because, well, for one, it doesn't have a broken moon jump with no gravity, and it's just kind of wonky the way that works, but that's why my most complaint about Halo in general is just the jump is wonky but in Assassin's Creed there's like it's so much more versatile and open and y there's a bunch of more stuff to do in my opinion and it's I like the control system better the, the way the engine works it's I, I just like the combat better instead of just shoot aim shoot sh aim shoot it's you know you have to actually strategize and you know kill people in your view, which one is more popular, Halo 4 or Assassin's Creed 3? Well, considering the fact that I've never heard anyone talk about Halo, except for right now, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice night. On Chavez, and what are your views on Halo 4 or Assassin's Creed 3? Which one do you like better? Mm, personally, I like Assassin's Creed 3 better, though I think the vast majority does in fact like Halo more. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say this? Because every 12-year-old I know has done nothing but talk about Halo 4 for the past two weeks. Okay, so you're saying that Halo 4 is more popular? I'm saying that Halo 4 is more popular with the younger crowd. <laughs> I can't really say for sure that it's more popular altogether. So, what well, do you think with our age, 
like high schoolers, do you think it's more popular or less popular? Honestly, I think they're about even. There are a lot of mindless high schoolers out there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, this is Kylie Banks, and do you like Halo 4 or Assassin's Creed 3 better? Definitely Assassin's Creed 3. That's probably the best game. Your views on this are why? Well, for me, Assassin's Creed, it's you, it's not just a game where you just go around shooting people or aliens. You actually have to strategize and fight and combat views. Also, it's just, you actually do learn a lot of, with history in there. I mean, I learned a lot of stuff about, like, Rome and whatnot just by playing that game. So, it's really informative as well, instead of just going around shooting aliens. Which one do you think is more popular with people our age? With our age, I think it kind of depends on the person. I mean, because with Xbox, does a lot of promoting on Xbox, but PlayStation 3 does a lot of promotion on Assassin's Creed, so it kind of depends on your console. Okay. Thank you. So that's our answer then. For people our age, the one that is believed to be better is Assassin's Creed 3. There are also going to be more video games coming out this holiday season, such as Rise of the Guardians, the video game. Back to you, Courtney. And this has been it for another newscast. This is Courtney and Neely signing off.